Welcome to this Tutor to You sociology topic video looking at sociological approaches to health, focusing on Marxism and health. As a conflict theory, perhaps unsurprisingly, Marxists focus on how social factors such as income, housing and inequality impact on the health of people in society. These social determinants of health are found to have an impact on the life expectancy of different social classes and the amount of time spent in poor health during an individual's lifetime. Preferring the social model of health, Marxists are critical of the biomedical model of health, perceiving the medical profession and pharmaceutical companies as being the tool of capitalism, either controlling access to health or profiting from the illness and disease of a population. Marxists see the root of social problems as being capitalist society, and this extends to health. Low wages, poor housing, poor diets and working conditions negatively impact on the health and well-being of workers, according to Marxists, who suggest that the medical profession perpetuates myths about illness and disease being the result of lifestyle choices rather than social inequality. One of the key Marxist thinkers in this area is Vincente Navarro, Navarro is critical of the healthcare system, suggesting that it creates a false consciousness in individuals that their poor health is a result of their lifestyle choices, rather than the social inequality that exists in society. Doctors are trained to question individuals over their diet, exercise and consumption of alcohol and cigarettes, rather than focus on the social determinants of health, such as low income, poor housing and poor working conditions. Instead of challenging inequality, doctors place the blame for illness at the hands of patients, according to Navarro, in a similar way to how educational underachievement is blamed upon a lack of effort by the working classes, rather than social barriers to success. Working conditions account for many sources of illness and injury. In 2018-19, before the COVID pandemic, it was estimated that work-related illnesses and injuries cost the UK economy £16.2 billion, which reveal the extent of how work impacts on the health of individuals. A second consideration of Marxists is the role of capitalism in health, and not just on workers. Marxists highlight the size of the pharmaceutical industry and the power that it has over the medical profession. Law found evidence that pharmaceutical companies offer incentives for doctors to prescribe their medication over others, and has called the overuse of medicine into question. The medicalization of psychological issues is just one example of Marxists suggesting pharmaceutical companies influence people to take medication to deal with their problems. The scale of the pharmaceutical industry in the UK is vast with an estimated worth of over £220 billion in the years prior to the COVID pandemic. And with the UK population ageing, this is expected to increase further over the next 15 years. Each year, ill health costs the UK economy around £77.5 billion, with over 50% of that costing being allocated to mental health costs, something Marxists suggest is a result of growing inequalities caused by capitalism. The role of doctors and other medical professionals is to reduce these costs to the economy by treating the symptoms that people present with, getting them fit to go back to work. This benefits both pharmaceutical companies as they profit from these decisions and employers as they get their employees back to work quicker. We've already highlighted some of the ways in which Marxists are critical of medical professionals, but further criticism suggests that medical professionals act as gatekeepers, not only to accessing healthcare, but also monitoring the population and ensuring their compliance. Healthcare professionals continually monitor the lifestyles of individuals who are unwell, ensuring that they comply with advice that is designed to get them back into work as quickly as possible. While functionists suggest that doctors are altruistic in the application of the sick role, Marxists suggest that the main motivation of doctors and other professionals is to return individuals to work where they can continue to be exploited for profit. 
A final contribution of Marxist to health comes from Ivan Illich. Illich has suggested that the medicalization of the body and illness has led to a process of iatrogenesis, whereby medication and medical procedures have unintended impacts on the health and well-being of patients. Processes such as surgery can impact on an individual's ability to lead a healthy and happy life, while some forms of medication can have debilitating side effects on individuals, often necessitating further medication to control these effects. Furthermore, medicalizing individuals' conditions can cause social exclusion and increase inequality in society. Illich argued that the nature of medicalization creates iatrogenesis as it does not look to cure problems, but rather tackle symptoms. It's palliative, and this is a result of either inaccurate diagnoses or unnecessary surgery. Illich also highlights the extent of medical negligence and malpractice and how this negatively impacts on individuals. When evaluating the Marxist view of health, it's difficult not to query Marxist views of health professionals. Functionists suggest that the role of health professionals is one of altruism, doing what they believe is right for the patient, rather than serving the needs of capitalism. Marxists also fail to acknowledge that many people have seen improvements in their standard of living as a result of medical advancements over the past 70 years. The creation of the NHS saw increased life expectancy, falling infant mortality rates, and breakthroughs in the treatment of once life-threatening diseases. Finally, while Marxists prefer social models of health to the biomedical model, they ignore that despite inequality limiting choices for individuals, people do have a choice over aspects of their lifestyle such as exercise and substance abuse. Whilst critics would counter this and suggest that the impacts of social inequality can negatively impact on an individual's motivation and ability to live healthier lifestyles. That concludes the sociology topic video looking at sociological approaches to health, focusing on Marxism and health. Thanks for watching.